Hello, Bella Vista. This is J.B. Portello. Welcome to In the Know. This program is produced after each monthly board meeting to give you a summary of the topics and the events going on at the Property Owners Association. In addition, these episodes are posted on the Facebook pages of the POA, as well as the Bella Vista Community TV station. So sit back and enjoy being in the know. Hello there, Bella Vista. Guess what season it is? Can you tell? Happy holidays to everybody. Uh, hi, Tom. I feel totally underdressed. Well, don't know. worry. We'll fix you up here You didn't send me a memo. I was supposed to dress up for this event. You know what? You never know what I might do, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, look, you, you carry it well, though. Well, okay. <laughs> anyway, folks, this is Tom, the COO of the POA. And you know what? We had a very short but, uh, but uh, positive board meeting last yeah, Thursday, a didn't very we? Good one. Yeah. Uh, I always celebrating success is amazing, but uh, what a nice surprise to get the, you tell us about that. You got him there on a pretense of having to talk to the board. Yeah. So uh, David Thornton, he's been with us since uh, 2016 and he's been in the area. I think he's an actual native or near to, I think he grew up down the, down the street of I can't remember 100%, but he's been in the area for a very long time. Uh, and uh, so his supervisor, Doug, asked him to come because he, he was under the impression that the board was going to ask him all these questions. So I guess he was a little worked up. And then Doug said, no, I asked you here on false pretense uh, because uh, we wanted to celebrate his success because he's just he's done such an outstanding job mm -hmm. of making sure that, you know, when we have lots, we want to sell those lots because that ends up, you know, in in uh, the vast majority of the cases, it's because the lot is non-performing mm -hmm. and they uh, haven't been paying their assessments, and uh, those lots then turn into you know homes down the low, down the way. So this year alone, he has uh, sold 252 lots. Now there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of people involved in that. There's the accounting department. There's the legal department. But David's really done an outstanding job. So 252 lots so far just this year. That's uh, over $700,000 in revenue. That's fabulous. Yeah, and, to, and can, to pull out even further. So back in 16, uh, we had 6,700 lots that were non-performing meaning they were not paying their assessments. They were either in arrears or the POA owned them, or so, you know, because the POA is not going to pay ourselves. Right. 6,700. And we, we always measure this every March. And so in March of 16, we were 6,700. Last year, we were 3,000. Wow. 3,000 out of 39,000 lots, we're down to 3,000. And so we had a very nice event where we brought the team together that was responsible for making that happen. And we had this event in, I think it was April, and we gave them a challenge. We want to see if you can lower it even further. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what the number is going to be this March. And, and David Thornton has a big part of making that, that's, you know, getting this to be so successful. Absolutely. And he was so surprised and relieved. And relieved that he didn't have to ask, <laughs> answer a bunch of questions for the board. That's right. We should have asked him some, just, you know. To... Yeah. Just, he probably <laughs> studied and crammed and was all ready to go and then no questions at all. Yeah. I love things like that when, when it's a nice surprise for somebody. Right. Um, okay. So a little, a uh, little disappointing, but tell us a little bit about the, the results or the lack of results for the Delta Bank building. Well, it was one of the ideas that we were working on uh, of trying to consolidate member services into one location that would be convenient, it would be a better setup, uh, allow us to provide better customer service to our membership, uh, would have drive-through capabilities for member services and water, just really make it a great environment and take our customer service to that next level. Mm -hmm. So we were looking at purchasing the old Delta Bank building and if you know, I live uh, in uh, past the crossing, so I pass that that area, and it's it's pretty uh, pretty nasty looking. You know, they don't maintain it well, and the building has deteriorated. It's been unoccupied for six years, and you just can't leave a building no without heat, without 
air and uh, air conditioning. And uh, uh, there was some water damage uh, because of burst pipe years ago and they partially clean partially fixed, cleaned it, but uh, it's got a lot of work that needs to be done. So uh, we really thought it would be a great thing for our community. We thought we were getting really close to um, the other side agreeing. Now the board would have had to vote. Both, you know, yeah. I, I can negotiate the deal, but the board ultimately has to vote on it. Um, and uh, uh, the seller decided to pull out at the last minute. Um, yeah, maybe it'll come back, but I don't, I don't think so. Well, and, and you know, you never know because that was a nice surprise and an idea. You never know when another opportunity may present itself. Yeah. Because the idea of consolidating those two departments and making things more convenient for the members, that is a great idea. Well, and, and the idea originally came from one of our employees and, and, and the idea came from member services, mm -hmm. providing an enhanced experience. It didn't come from, well, it'd be easier for the employees. No, it came from the correct thought process of how do we make it better? How do we enhance our members' lives? Yeah. yeah. So unfortunately it didn't work out. Oh, well, upward and onward. You know, if you don't have a shot on goal, you can't score. Exactly. You got to give a, sometimes you make a shot on goal and sometimes you miss. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I've been bragging on this ever since it happened, but you had the most amazing celebration for your employees year yeah. end. It was nice to bring everybody together. Um, it was voluntary. You know, if people felt uncomfortable, they didn't have to show up. But uh, it was a very nice event, uh, having not had one last year. Yeah. And, uh, you know, bringing them together and that synergy and so forth. Uh, it was very enjoyable. We had a nice raffle of prizes, which is always nice. Fun. It was amazing. Good. And after a while, people were like, oh, oh, well, I'll play this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, we allowed uh, for our viewers, uh, we allowed them to to risk it. We did the kind of the Monty Hall thing of uh -huh. door number one, door number two, and uh, so forth. Uh, and we talked about the uh, Zonker. I think it's the Zonker where it was uh, on the game show. It was the it was the bad prize. We, you didn't have we, any. We didn't have any bad prizes. <laughs> I wasn't going to do that. But uh, but we put some doubt in everybody's mind. I was actually surprised at. Uh, I asked how many employees remembered Monty Hall. Uh, his game show has been in the 70s or mm -hmm. something like that. Over half the, P the employees raised their hand. They remembered that game show. So yeah. Yeah. it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. We had an ugly uh, Christmas sweater oh, contest. You did. <laughs> uh, and some of them were really ugly. They were. So uh, the was, guy that won was just adorable, though. Oh, when he walked across the stage <laughs> with his. Uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It really was. And another picture I wish somebody had captured because it was just wonderful a lot of the the maintenance guys and people like that won the big prizes and it was wonderful because you saw a couple of them walking out of there as a team because they had to carrying a 70 inch tv i really wanted to capture that i should have because it was brilliant it was a lot of fun because the, so the one employee they, they had won uh, a small gift and and uh, you know would you like to risk and go for door number two? And he went for it, and it was a huge TV. Exactly. Um, uh, uh, Corinne, uh, the, our, our corporate secretary, she went out on uh, um, Black Friday and bought all this stuff. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. got some really good deals, uh, which allowed us to stretch our dollars further. And the guy that won the Apple Watch immediately walked over and handed it to his wife. <laughs> I guess maybe that got him off the hook for Christmas <laughs> present. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I know that employee. I don't think he's off the hook yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it was it was ab absolutely brilliant. Really was. Um, another thing that we've been working on together, mm -hmm. uh, the POA and the city, and and even Cooper, mm -hmm. especially Cooper, uh, we've been trying to help educate the public about our three-legged stool. Uh, governing body here in, right. in Bella Vista. And you and the mayor had a, a new employee or a new uh, member orientation on Saturday as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are always helpful. But we we hope the, the TV station is doing those as a, as a service to the community. And we're hoping that that helps you and our members. 
I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to give you some information on this mm -hmm. uh, program on how you can watch those two. One more is coming. Mm -hmm. I don't know who it's going to be yet, but it'll be good, whatever it is. Well, it's just it's, it's great to be able to educate the community uh, because we are different. And, and different doesn't mean bad. It no. just means different. And uh, so we have a three-legged stool in our governance. We have the city, the POA, and the ACC. And the, the city takes care of the, the fire, the police, the roads, the building permits, and those types of things. Um, uh, the POA, I, I like to say the POA is like Parks and Rec on steroids mm -hmm. with lakes and golf courses and some restaurants and tennis and pickleball and everything else that we have uh, and water. Uh, and then the ACC is the Arch Architectural Control Committee, and they're making sure that the, uh, the aesthetics of our community look good. So that's our three-legged stool. And if mm -hmm. one of those legs breaks, the stool doesn't stand. Uh, but unfortunately, that complexity makes it challenging for some of our residents. And, and the, the best example I can give is um, our member services uh, team receives approximately 40,000 calls per year, half of which have nothing to do with the POA. They have to do with the city, they have to do with the ACC, but we all work together to get that member to the right person. Mm -hmm. um, because we're, And the city does the exact same thing. Oh, that's a POA issue, they send them our way. So, we try and help the membership out as much as possible, even though it can be complicated at times. You know, there are a lot of opportunities for folks to, to know and learn about the uh, three-legged stool. But one of the things I have to brag about that the POA publishes, it goes out in all the water bills, as you mm -hmm. know, call connections. And I really wish I'd have brought one today because right. everybody would recognize it. Uh, it. It's a great piece of information that goes out every month. Mm -hmm. Correct? Every month. And not only is it about the POA, there's a whole page in there in the city and what's going on there. And on the back, I think I noticed a little ACC um, ad, a little something that talks about who to call about what. Yeah. Another thing that I that I'm delighted that you're handing out at the orientation, and I know it's online as well, mm -hmm. but the fact that uh, the, pic the pictorial that shows the difference between the three, and then on the back is who to call mm -hmm. if you want a permit, whether it's ACC or it's the, uh, uh, the city. And that same document is on the POA's website, the city's website, and the ACC's website. All three, the exact same document yeah. to make it as as easy as possible. We know it can be complicated, mm -hmm. um, you know, and that's why at the new resident meeting that we have every three months, we cover that issue because it can be confusing, but we try and help them out as much as possible. And the fact of what I, what I really like about what the, the city and the ACC is doing, they're, they're right beside each other. Mm -hmm. So, and they each have a sign, because I went and looked, that says, okay, you got this permit, now you need to go next door to this one. Mm -hmm. Now that's a little, you know, some people don't like it, but at least we're making it crystal clear. Yes, yes. And they both work together where they say, okay, now you gotta go next door. Mm -hmm. So that, and that's good. I have a challenge for you. Okay. First of all, I brought you a present, right? I brought you a hat. Yeah, yeah you sure did. And you're super excited about wearing I, it. I, I, you know, it's gonna mess up my bald spot, something bad. That's okay. You can, you'll live through it. You'll be fine. I don't know if my fat head's going to fit in this thing. Well, I, I, it's for a big-headed person. <laughs> <laughs> well, or, or a lady that has a lot of hair. Either. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. All right, let's, you and I, think of Christmas blessings in relation to the POA. And I'll go first. You do that. How many employees do you have? Um, right now, about 350, 325. Uh, peak of, in the peak of summer, we have 450. Okay. I think 450 at its max employees is a super blessing. What do you think? I would agree. And you stole mine. I know. I uh, because I, uh, that we are so yours. blessed. We have such great employees. We have such, they, they provide such great customer service. We always hear about these stories. Um, about how they always, our employees always go above and beyond to enhance lives of our members. And I just, I'm so proud of them. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they do things that, that nobody else does. 
You know, yeah. I hear about uh, stories about our water department uh, going above and beyond. And it's like, who does that? No other water department in the entire United States does that kind of stuff. And we do it because it's the right thing. I love when the water department shows up for any event. They all come in their little yellow thing. <laughs> I mean, they're like a major team. You can't miss them. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I'm sorry I stole one, but I know you have other blessings. Oh, well, you know, just Bella Vista in general. It's the, the natural beauty of Bella Vista. It's just so fantastic. I mean, where else can you get all that we have? It's just a, such a beautiful place to live. All right. I think that a blessing is um, all of the new folks moving in with fresh ideas. What do you I think? Agree. I agree. How many new houses are, are new? Well, those are new houses. Oh, new building permits yeah. this year will probably hit 600. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, the community continues to grow. Uh, we're the second largest property owner association in the United States, and we're gaining rapidly on the number one uh, POA in the U.S. I always thought we were number one. Well, in my heart, they are. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, we, 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 I think there's a community in uh, outside Denver that has 18,000 homes. We have 15,000 homes. Oh, we'll, we'll get you. you know, or you could do it by number of lots. We're probably the largest with the number of lots with 39,000 lots. Uh, or you could do it by budget. So you could measure it a couple different ways. I go by houses. Well, talk about the blessing of this past year in spite of COVID financial. We've just had an outstanding year and we've done it through our finances. I mean, uh, more people are playing golf, more people are going to the gym facilities, more people are getting activity cards and getting out and about and using all of our amenities. More people have uh, registered a boat this year. So we're just, we're, we're busting at the gills at some time, yeah. at, you know, um, more people are using the trails and uh, going to the gear garden and so forth. Um, from a food and beverage point of view, in 2019, we did $1.5 million in food and beverage revenue. This year, we're knocking on the door for $3 million. Great. I mean, we're just, and, and we're going to be uh, adding a, a pizza kitchen up at Highlands. Um, so that means that we're going to go and expand that even further. So it's just, uh, we've had an outstanding year in spite of ever, of all the challenges. And, and that's another reason I'm thankful to our our employees because they've met the challenge every single time they've gotten creative and come up with different ways of solving problems. They were, we have an outstanding crew. You do. Well, I have one more. Okay. I, and you're going to have to help me with the number here am totally grateful for the number of responses we got from the members. Mm -hmm. What? 13,000 or close. Oh, I think it was 12,200, but I could be wrong, but uh, I'll go with 13,000. It's close enough. We'll round up. Yeah. And you know what? We always ask for uh, members input. I think you got some. We got, and in, inside that we have 4,000 individual comments, which is a blessing and a little bit of a curse because I got to read them all. <laughs> There's a lot to read, but we love the information. Give us the information because the community can can be shaped in a number of different ways, and and, and it's important that we get that input. And it's it's really great that we had so many people participate in that, and also spend the time to come out uh, for the uh, focus groups. Yes, we had a lot of people do those. And so the report, uh, the survey report is going to come out in January. Um, I got about half written so far. So okay. Well, uh, there's a lot more, I'm sure, but yeah. that's kind of the highlights of why we feel blessed. Can I take at... off this hat now? No, not until the camera goes away. Okay, you have right. to wave goodbye. All right, all right. Bye, Bella Vista. We'll see you in January. Merry Christmas. <laughs>